Guten Tag, my comrades, and welcome back to some more Octopath Traveler, Bad Boys, Part 9, another day of mediocre content. Woo! Where we left off last time, uh, we just did, um, Hayate's, uh, Chapter 3, and now we are... I'm going to continue Primrose's uh, chapter 3. Uh, let me do a quick audio test to make sure everything is just dandy. Um, with my voice and uh, music as well. So I like to make sure, because I don't want any more extremely mediocre streams. Just a regular amount of mediocre works just fine. Now let us proceed. Continue the day. The story so far, in the town of Stillstone, Primrose got her first taste of revenge, where she struck down the left wing of the crow, it's like an Organization 13 member, driving a dagger engraved with her family's words into his breast, Faith shall be your shield, the words that served her well. Now two remain, the man with the mark on his right arm, Alice bird of all, the one with the one mark on his neck. Go home to Noble Corp, she was told. There you will find the truth you seek. But would this truth bring her peace or further pain? And so, after many years, Primrose comes home. Oh my. How long has it been? When I left, I thought I would never return to this place. The crows said I would find the truth here. But what truth was he speaking of? Two more men, bearing the mark of that foul bird. Hmm. My search continues here. Is that just going to be somebody else that knows her? Yeah, yeah, just somebody that knows her. Look, that young lady. Is that not Lady Primrose? Why, fuck it is. <laughs> You're seeing things, friend. House Azo Heart is nothing more of a memory but a memory now. Hmm. Right, of course. No need to drag up old ghosts. There's plenty enough going around in the present. Just look. What's happening over there? That's a good question. You feel like dead? <laughs> Darling, please, open your eyes. No, see, it's not so. Mm-hmm. Crying shame, that just just as his business was sta starting to take off. Just so. Rumor has it he voiced his displeasure with the lordship a bit too loudly, if you catch my meaning. That's why I keep my mouth shut, lest I end up dead on the streets like that poor sod. What? A murder? And noble court of all places. But when I was young, father in the city watch saw that hardly any crime was committed here. Well, they're like not here anymore. What has become of this place since I left? Maybe just kinda like drag the body away or something. <sighs> Move! Out of the way, you slap dog fools. We're here to express the order of his lordship to inspect the scene. Now clear here, lest we toss you the gallop for impeding our investigation. How can that- The lord's own guardsmen are investigating the crime? Where's the city watch? Hey. 
I know that man. He was one of father's trusted friends. Rebulo Forsyth. I think that's how you pronounce it. Lieutenant Commander of the City Watch. At least he used to be. I'm just gonna like walk over, like kick his body, like, yep, it was suicide. <laughs> no doubt about it. So he was he was spared the wrath of the crows, at least. That should be like some bullshit, like he let them in. I doubt it, but it's like it's a possibility. A raven from Stillstow, sir. I fear the the tidings are ill. Master Rufus is a. Oh, so the left wing has been. Was they a hard girl that did the deed? You say. So she still lives, after all. Huh. Guess we'll just have to do something about that. <laughs> Mark my words, here's our hard line ends here. Truly you, Lady Primrose. Impossible. I know that voice. A butler or something? From a lifetime ago. Primrose. Do my eyes see true? You have grown lovelier than I could have ever dreamed, Lady Primrose. Simeon. We've been all these years. Hmm. Not here, that's for certain. You know, I always wanted to run as fast and as far as I could from this stuffy old town. Mm. So I set out a journey across the realm. I met mean, I met seven different travelers. We had an octopath travel of you, I suppose you could say. <laughs> And yet, no matter how far I traveled, I could not escape the pain of losing you. Is that like a betrothed thing? Of course. These days I make a living as a playwright of sorts. I have pen dramas and tragedies for the stage. <laughs> you always did have a way with words. I would never return to this place, and then one day, I felt an odd yearning. <laughs> and no sooner than I arrived, I am reunited with you. Faith is a mysterious thing, is it not? Hmm. Primrose. But enough about me. Where have you been all these years, my love? Yeah, probably like a betrothed or something. <laughs> what can I even tell him? So, I got these really strong knees. <laughs> There's not a thing I can say without selling his memories of me forever. You're really good at dancing. See? I'm sorry. My apologies. That was too forward of me. You needn't say a thing. Besides, I can imagine all too well without hearing a word. Life has not been kind to you, and though you have grown all the more beautiful throughout the hardships, you, you no doubt suffered. It still pains me that you had to suffer that. <sighs> oh, I forgot to sound a tweet that was streaming. Oh, I was like... There we go. So late. Simeon's gentle words stirred something in Primrose, a feeling she had not felt for many years, but the 
first time seemed like forever, she felt somewhere deep in her heart a measure of peace. Nice. Mm -hmm. He is too kind to me. He always was. Oi, what are you two doing watering about? <sighs> that looks like a spot of trouble. I'd just as soon avoid. Come, my lady. Let's find somewhere we can chat in private. Ah! Ah! <laughs> did, did, did he only grab her arm or did he, like, slap her ass or something? What the fuck? <laughs> Seeing you again, it brings back so many memories. Memories of my childhood days in this town. I could never understand why my father was so strict with me. I was always running off to the gardens for a good cry. And that was where I would find you. And find an excuse to shirk my duties as gardener's apprentice. I wanted nothing more than to spend time with you. To be a part of your world. Little lady, why do you cry so? <laughs> what? Okay, so he is like older than her by the We majority. couldn't help but be drawn to one another. Like the bees, drawn to the nectar of the fragrant blooms. You were always penning poems for me. Your words, your songs, gave me comfort and solace. In the darkest days after I lost father, you would sing them for me over and over. Hmm. What? Like, how she, like, worded it before, like, after she lost her father, it sounded like she immediately, like, fucking hit the road. If I'm not mistaken. To tell the truth, Primrose, I left this town to search for you. Oh, yeah. I tried so many times to forget you. To accept that you were gone. Yet time and again, I found myself reciting the poems I had written you. Can you forgive me, Primrose? There is nothing to forgive. It was all so very long ago. I too have moved on from those days. I have found my own reason to go on. I'm an adventurer. When the moon waxes full and bright in dark heaven, and stars glitter worlds away from earthly sorrow. Not, not, not like, not like Marvel wave Avenger, but like, like Sasuke Uchiha kind of Avenger. I must kill a certain someone. That is my dream. <laughs> a picturing Primrose with a, with a fucking um, two, um. God, I can't even think of it. God, I'm drunk. <laughs> Sharingan, there we go. I don't know why I forgot Sharingan. But just pitching him to Sharingan and saying that is the dumbest image in my head. I think my mic volume's a little too loud. And uh, how about now? There we go. Would that sleep hold you in her soft embrace? Then shall my eyes close, lips open in prayer. For it is only in dreams that we may meet again. I, I know you're probably reciting one of your old poems for her, but um, it's right there, mate. 
Simeon. And then there was silence. And with one fell swoop, silence fell upon the land. In that moment, there was nothing that words could convey. Lady Primrose, I intend to remain in town for some time yet. I still have not forgiven myself, knowing that I could not do more for you. It tortures me to this day. Okay, so that's why I apologize. If there is any way, any way at all, in which I can be of service to you, my lady, you need only say the word. Thank you, Simeon. Is she taller than him, or is she, is she standing up on the balcony? Enough distractions. I must find the men marked by the crow. Because I'm an Avenger. <laughs> I must but kill a certain someone. I don't know, they're probably like hanging out in your old house. Some travel banter. Would it be? A moment of your time. May I be so bold as to pride? Huh? That man is very important to you, is he not? Why do you say that? Is a conjecture based on how you both look at each other. Had you not chosen to live your life the way you do, I wonder if you could stop right there, Professor. How I live my life is my affair, not yours. Yes, quite. I do apologize. And best be careful around it. You sharpen the your I mean, he's like a scholar. I mean, that's that's kind of the whole gimmick. It's <laughs> kind of the whole point. Gotta be charcoal. And since he kind of has the power of a god, he cracks it. Oh, I don't know. I might already have this. Hello. May not look at now, but there was one. I was once in charge of an entire company of mercenaries. Three of my men betrayed me, and everything fell apart. My company, my life, and those three turned goats still out there somewhere, walking around as free as can be, still with the crest they looked, they took from me. Have it the coin of the strength to go after them myself, if only someone could see justice served. Okay, so, I need to kill some turncoats. Farewell. Farewell, Jeffrey. I will return. What? What's this? Are my eyes to be believed? How could this? My lady, are you Jeffries? <laughs> it's been too long, Mr. Forsyth. I think I'm pronouncing lady that right. Lady Primrose? Too long indeed. We all knew you'd grow to be a great beauty, but even still, I feel as that I'm standing before a vision from the heavens. It brings me great joy to know you are well, my Lady Primrose. Hmm. As it does me. You, you see Hale and Hardy, Master Forsyth. Thank the gods! Ages stooped my back <clears throat> and blurred my eyes. But just seeing you before me, I thank the gods for blessing me with long life. <laughs> you flatter me over much, my good sir. Uh -huh. I was just paying Jeffrey a visit, as I do from time to time. You should do the same, Lady Primrose. Let your father bask in your beauty as well. No. No. I cannot face father. Not yet. For that, there is something. 
There's something I must do. <laughs> I am sorry to hear, my lady. But where have you kept yourself for all these years? There are many who would have had been <coughs> many who've been more than happy to take you in. The truth is I've been on a journey of sorts. If you must know the truth. A, a travel with seven other companions. An octopath, I suppose you could say. <laughs> I'm sorry. Forgive me. I had no idea you'd suffer through such dark days. You you did well to endure and return to his lady from Rose. Actually... I endured only because I must. I must yearn. I must learn the truth behind father's death. And have my revenge upon the bastards who took them from me. Because I am an avenger. <laughs> Master Forsythe, is there is there nothing you can tell me? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It was a time when I, too, spared no effort in trying to unravel the secret behind Lord Jeffrey's murder. But in the end, I was left wishing I never had. My lady, I urge you to tread lightly. This business will be the death of you. You do not watch your back. <sighs> I'm ready for whatever may come. And and I've already killed one of the three, so kinda of, kinda of a little bit too hmm. uh, deep in the water now. I know what I must do. Very well. Come with me, and I will tell you what I know. I'm back, Anna. Oh? I was wondering what was keeping you, dear. Pray tell, who is this beauty you brought with you? It's not possible. La Lady Primrose! May... But I never... And you're so... You're so beautiful, a woman grown. Pinch me, my dear. I must be dreaming. <laughs> I thought the same myself. Now, what say we spare a cup of tea? I think that might have been shared, but oh well. <laughs> and so, from the dark day onward, the balance of power here in Noble Court has shifted and shifted dramatically. Under Lord Jeffrey's stewardship, House Azelhart was the most prominent of all the great families. Working closely with the city watch, he took it upon himself to uphold the peace and keep people happy. Crime of any sort was nigh unheard of, or what happy days those were. Though, though those with with a what do ill deeds might have found a bit of stifling. But it matters little. Those times of peace and security are all but a dream now. <sighs> In the chaos and disorder that followed the fall of House Hazelard, a group of men seized power. They call themselves the Obsidians. Edgelords. <gasps> Gasp! They began their operation peddling ill, Ill literatures back to back when your father still lived. Working in the shadows, just out of the sight of Jeffrey's watchful eye, they made one shady deal after the next filling their coffers, and making powerful friends. 
swayed by the influence of their coin, countless once lawful men cast their lot with these villains. And the ones that didn't? Captain Abius commanded the city watch in those days. Maybe you remember him? He was Lord Jeffrey's right hand, and the, and the most just and honorable man I've been privileged to know. Unfortunately, his code of honor put him at odds with the Obsidians, so they took action. <clears throat> Murdered, like my father? And then... Absent his leadership, the city watch collapsed, and the Obsidian seized power with the great of ease. With the greatest of ease. I spent years trying to follow the trail of corruption, to find who it led to, where the blood money flowed. In the end, I found that I was up against an opponent too evil. I faced innumerable threats in my own life. Two of my cohorts from the Watch, who worked tirelessly to keep me to help me try to track down the truth, were murdered in cold blood. <sighs> Honor and justice are long dead here, never to return. I'm an old man now, and I grow weary of this battle. But I'm a minor, I am a minor landowner with no influence to speak of. All I can do is bring flowers to Jeffrey's grave. Lady Primrose? There's nothing more I can do for him. Or for you. And so I beg of you, Lady Primrose, leave this place. Trust me, my lady. Were your father here, he would say the same. Hmm. Well, that... Well, that's, that's where you're wrong, my guy. Um, she's an Avenger, and her dreams like to kill a certain person. That's like the whole, whole deal. I beg to differ, Master Forsyth. Were my father here, this is what he would say. Faith shall be your shield. Hmm. Hmm. Mayhap you were right. Mayhap I have only twisted my memories of Jeffrey to ease my regret at my own cowardice. Forgive me, my lady. I do you a dishonor. Now then. I know where the obsidians make their headquarters in town. I will take you there. Let's fucking go. Lady Primrose. I will wait for you here, my lady. Pray tell me wherever you are ready to depart. All right. Um, I got some travel banter. I want to do that first. <laughs> Time for some breaking and entering. Indeed. Think you can pull it off? Therion. It does not matter whether I can or not. The fact is, I must. I've thought about giving up more than once. I've wondered what, I've wondered what sort of life I could live if I chose a different path. But each time I do, I can't imagine what the future would look like. This is all I know. If you say so. So if you're trying to talk me out or of avenging my father, that's not it. I just know how easy it is to screw up if you if you don't stay calm. So don't go losing your head in there, okay? Stay calm. I'll remember that. Thank you, Therion. Nice. Um, I might lure someone. 
if I find somebody decent. Do a lore. There might, there might not be anybody strong here. Or at least not strong enough. Master Spear. Oh, you're decent. Okay, yep. <laughs> nice. He, he, he seemed decent. Yeah, let's go. The guy that wants me to like, kill his old friends. Um. Is there anywhere I can save first? Or is that? Oh, yeah, right here. Right next to where he was. My drunk ass. Let's go. Alright. I am ready. Let's be off. Let's go kick some ass. <coughs> This is the den of the obsidians. Lovely. You have my gratitude, Master Forsyth. I cannot guarantee you safety. You should choose to go forward, my lady. I owe so you a debt. Nor would I ask you to. Lady Primrose? You mean to avenge Jeffrey's death? You do not, do you not? I'll do what I must. I do. I said in his voice. <laughs> it's been my sole reason for living all these years. Mm -hmm. Very well. In that case, Lady Primrose? Pray allow this old man to accompany you. Mm. There was a time when I, too, vowed I would see justice served. For so long, I had abandoned hope and lost my way. But reuniting with you has lit a path before me anew. As if the light of the flame shined upon us. I realize now that, for all I have learned over the years, I still know nothing of true bravery. So then... Master Forsyth. So am I gonna have to... I beg of you. Am I gonna have to allure him instead of the guy literally just allured? If your faith... Will, if your faith will be your shield, Lady Primrose, then let me be your sword at your side. Okay. Is that, is that literally just gonna kick the guy out of my party? Sir, the Lady Azelhard comes calling. Oh, does she now? How thoughtful of her to save me the trouble of hunting her down myself. Huh. It's all playing out just like the boss said. Which reminds me. Wasn't he supposed to be joining us? Yeah! On that matter, sir, I'm afraid there's been a slight change of plans. He left a message. It appears there are some preparations he would see to first. <laughs> That's our boss. He's always had a flair for the dramatic. Sir, <laughs> no doubt he's preparing a welcome party of his own. My lady Azor, tis a pity you will not live to see it. <laughs> For the right wing will snuff the life out of you right here. Nice. 
dark and gloomy. Just like I like my basements. I'm assuming that's where we are. Feeling great, bunch. This is the beginning of your end. My turn. It is your turn. Um, we could bow and ask. I am ready. And let's see if there weak any of these uh oh. stars pierce our bones. That worked out perfectly. What next? Um you yeah. a torrent of arrows. An interesting dilemma. Tenaba Oparia. Not bad. A passing grade. Nice. Don't even give him a chance. I'm not saying a chance of upgrades like these. Um, nothing in here. Chesty poo in here. Chesty poo, give me. 5,000 leaves for me and you. And... Now, let us hunt in. I am ready. That's good. Very good stars pierce our foes. I don't even know. Are those supposed to be slugs in the back? Assuming they are. Lux Conjurer! What? <laughs> oh yeah, um, I did a little farming off uh, screen. So now they all have like their final abilities for like their god classes, whatever you want to call them. I like calling them. Uh, let's see what there we go. Damn, nice. nice. Good guess. Letting my arrow fly and true. Good guess. Shut <laughs> up, boy. You're dead. Now, so it doesn't matter. What next? <laughs> Lux Conjurer. Eradicated. Not bad. A passing grade. That's good that you gave them a passing grade, Cyrus. I don't think they deserve it, but whatever you think. I have never seen those birds, I don't think. Or that's fine. That's completely new enemies to me. I'm not a big one. Interesting. You look like you're a lot. <laughs> What's this? <clears throat> no good. Let's see what that spider do. My epic stars pierce our bows. Need the light. Fair enough. Now, what next? The light sensitive spider. And now time to break those birds. Where are the fallen birds? Ah, Venta Solfa! Thus ends your lesson. Oh. <laughs> it might be a little over leveled. I might not have to farm for the final chapter three.
your save just in, just in case I die to the ball, depending on how close it is. May I have this dance? Yeah, I'm gonna break the bird first of the game. Cyrus is turn. Venta Sofa! I'm ready. So, what next? Oh, he just gave you a debuff. That ain't shit. Yay. Out of my way. Try this! Now. Ah! Venta Sulfur! Not so bad. Weird. A passing grade. Be that short. There's no way it would be that short. No chest. Letting us begin. In. There's some monsters, though. Oh, humans what? and monsters. <laughs> I don't know what that one on the left is weak to. The other one's weak to Axe, so I'll assume that he is as well. Yes. And I miss, because I flipped my connect. An interesting dilemma. I'll refer. I can't. Not oh, that at least. But I was not watch my FD. Rocky, Rocky. I feel like the birds might also be weak to bow, but that's just me spitballing ideas. I think I'll try it. Oh, oh well, I'm not. Uh, for some reason, I thought it was an IT, but I'm not. I'm super broken. On it. Why do I always keep saying hi to her name's Haunted. So don't mind my mispronunciation. I'm just stupid. Stars pierce our foes. What next? Yeah, let's see if they're the bow. They are. They most definitely are. Yeah, we can act, but it's beginning. enough damage to kill you. Very cool. Yeah. I honor thee, my quarry. Nice. Honor is about to level up. Cyrus is about to level up. So that was a waste of time. So let's go. How oh, standest <laughs> thou against me? Yes, yes. Then be hunted. How dare Let you? Letting my arrow fly in true. Um, you could break all the birds, probably. Break all the birds. <laughs> The birds make me look bad. I am ready. Mm -hmm. Nice. 
my turn. Bird. An interesting dilemma. I still didn't get that key to Cyrus, so I'm going to do this. How about this? Oh wait, no, he was going to level up. I didn't need to use that. I'm stupid. <laughs> Out of my way. I am dumb. I forgot to do a level up. Probably after this fight. Try this! Now. Ah. Might as well use what I got. Venta Solta! Not bad. A passing grade. Yeah, see, he, he leveled up. I didn't even need to use that one bad. Oh, Alright, give me this chesty poop. Energizing pomegranate medium for me and you. Another chesty food over here. Out of life, large. Can't Enemies. we settle this like gentlemen? What? <laughs> uh, <clears throat> doesn't really matter if you break first, because they're all gonna they all get you back next. So I'm gonna try to break the guy. Hey. Mm. Let in the hunt begin it. Yeah, let it do that. And you can break whatever the fuck you want to call those. What are they called? Thunder Force. I think that's how it's now. A torrent of arrows! Good friend. I am ready. The show is over. Alright, there you are, level up. Ain't shit in here. And this might be the boss room. Might be. I am not sure. Guess before I go. Can I can't have a before I go? Let in the hunt begin it. of action. <sighs> Venta Solta! I am ready. That's <laughs> 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 right, yes. yep, dead. And that's that. It is that. I don't know. Alright. Yep, the cutscene is Boston. You're a stubborn one, aren't you? Like father, like daughter. So you were the one who clipped the left wing? Yeah. I was. And you are the right. I have waited too long for this day. D this man is... No. It cannot be. You really did a number on us, didn't you? The left was responsible for maintaining and expanding our little circle of friends. 
Nice. Well, I provided the coin and the power. We made quite the team, if I do say so myself. Nothing, no one could stand in our way. Now you've gone and fouled it up. <laughs> Have I now? All I've done is removed a filthy scavenger from this world. Nice. One less crow, and our realm will be better off for it. <laughs> You're a bold one, I'll give you that. Uh, other than like the eye patch, <clears throat> he does kind of remind me of Zigbar. The just like how deep his voice is and how cocky he talks, which is good because I really uh, like Zigbar. It seems I have another guest today. It's been a while, old friend. So it is you, Lady Primrose. This is the man who disappeared after your father's murder. The man I feared dead. Yeah, I, I figured that would be one of them. I, I didn't say anything, but I, I was like, huh, what would you like, turn coat? And I'm like, nope. No, he's dead, I swear. Albus, I thought you were man of honor. Oh. What? Nani. Is all well and good, but it doesn't buy you much. How could I have been so blind? It was you who sold out Jeffrey to those villains! He trusted you more than anyone. He trusted you, I trusted you. And you stabbed him in the back for a post in the Godsdamned League. That's my second in command. A bit slow on the uptake, but you'd always figure it out in the end. This village was a rotten husk long before Jeffrey Azelhart met his end. Anyone with half their wits knew the Obsidians were pulling all the strings from the shadows. I simply cast my lot with the winning horse. A simple business decision. Nice. Lady Azelhart. Your father spoke grandly of peace and order until the day he met his end. He would talk of his vaunted faith and how it would shield the town from any danger. In the end, he couldn't even save himself. And now a field of headstones is all that remains of the once proud House Azelhart. No, oh, I'm still here. I swear. <laughs> Goes to show you what the faith of a fool is worth. <sighs> Angry. You traitorous bastard! Lord Jeffrey was a thousand times the man you are. You'll sully his name no longer. Master Forsyth, enough. Okay, so I was I was pronouncing right. That's good. But Lady Primrose, the time for talk has ended. Ooh. This man, if one can even call him a man, should not live a moment longer. But, uh... There's a fire in your eyes, girl. Yes. It reminds me of the fire in your father's eyes when he faced his end. I am Albus, proud bearer of the Mark of the Crow. Come at me, Primrose Azelhart. I will see that you meet the same fate as your dear father. 
bet. Time for the main event. He's big. What next? Right, um. Oh, you're weak to sword. Oh, what a coin you think. The dog bite her hard. My turn. They'll, they'll find out what weaknesses he has, and I can transfer everybody's room to what his weakness is. Feel the power. I am ready. Uh, yeah, find out his weaknesses. Magnific stars pierce our bows. Nice. Now, what next? And this should break him. Lux Conjurer! I am ready. Ha! Watch me! What's this? This time we're Here's our foes. What next? I'll, I'll save up. The dog bite has hard. Oh, <laughs> light. Light. They got light. What is the logical course of action? <laughs> Venta Salta. Nice, that's some good damage off on his first knockout. My turn. Ha! I am Even ready. If I miss, you're still gonna get hit, kiddo. Yeah, I wanna find his other weaknesses though, just in case he gets like something that protects his invulnerabilities later. An interesting dilemma. Ah! Summon, if thou darest. Holding back nothing. Well, I'll just wail on you. <laughs> nice. Let oh, the hunt begin. Beating, beating the shit out of him. Oh, yeah, I was going to save up for that. I forgot I said that, damn it. My drunk ass. Oh, find his weaknesses while he's knocked out. So let's check for bow. What? I honor thee, my quarry. Oh. Okay. I didn't. What? <laughs> I didn't. I didn't think he was gonna be that weak. Oh. Yeah, I guess I'm a little over leveled. <laughs> oh, uh, yeah, that that happened. And then there was one. Oh. Well, um, he's kind of dead. And also, um, I can't I can't equip Tressa anymore because he's the bad boys. Uh, Tressa is in the good boy route because she's one of the good boys. Ooh. Yeah, Tr Tressa and the other three have uh, already completed their stories. Now I'm completing the stories of everyone that can piss off people in town. Hence why I call them the bad boys. There was no warrior in noble court more fierce than he. You fought wonderfully, Lady Primrose. Are you sure, are you sure he wasn't just having like an off day? Nice. Simeon? Ah, Primrose. Fancy meeting you. Yeah, here. I kind of. I, I felt like he was also bad. 
Um, well, it was an early game. Like, I've already beat all four of their campaigns. Like, I didn't even, I didn't even meet the bad boys until after I beat all four of the good boys campaigns. Uh, because that, that's how I'm doing it. Like, I've already done a full pro playthrough of, um, all the good boys. Because I like all the characters in this game, so I didn't want to meet all eight of them at once and, like, switch back and forth. So, what I did was I did the good boys route, which was, uh, Tressa, um... Uh, Ophelia, God, I damn, I have to remember their names just because been so. <laughs> um, Alfin, and God, it starts with an O. I know it. It's on like the tip of my tongue. But yeah, you you get the idea. I base I did their four campaigns first. And then I was like, okay, I want to separate them. Because even though I like all, all eight characters, I liked uh, those four characters more than these four characters in comparison. Hence why, um, yeah, that's how I have done my playthrough. What brings you to this terrible place? Yeah, I felt like he was the one feeding him information. That's probably what how, how that is. Ah, but of course. About that, you see. You see what happened once. There's something I simply had to tell you. Nice. Yeah, if you could tell, uh, all, all, all four of my bad boys, um, they they already have like the secret classes that you can unlock. Like punch his nose though. Yeah, it felt like he was gonna do that. What? Simeon I thought it was gonna be a poem. Oh, I'm sorry. I heard that you were looking around for my friend here. And you know what they say about birds of a feather. They flock together. The mark. Of the crow. But, but why? Simeon. Do forgive me, Lady Primrose. There was just one thing I forgot to mention. The head of the obsidians, the crow atop the roost, and oh yes, the one who killed your dear, dear father. It was me. Nice. Yeah, um, I lowered his SP cost because I have SP Saber on. Normally it would be times two. Um, because I have the ability that doubles the SP, but I also have SP Saber on, so it cuts it down to the normal amount, even though it has, uh, boosted damage. No. For Cyrus, that is. It can't be. Bravo. Oh, bravo, Lady Primrose. I... I thought he was connected to the crows, but I didn't know he was the head honcho in my assumptions. So, that, I, I will admit, he got me there. But other than that, it was a hard read. I knew you had it in you. That was a virtuoso performance, my love. The audience gasps. At long last, she tracks down the villain she's been hunting all these years. Only to find out it is her one true love. Look at the tears she weeps, the blood she spills, and pity her. Oh, the tragedy! It moves me to the depths of my soul! <laughs> I mean, as long as he's having a good time. <laughs> oh, 
Okay, maybe a little bit too much of a good time. Fare thee well, my poor, poor love. Nice. That does explain hey, how Rose. that she knew um they knew she was coming. Lady Primrose. Memory. Simeon? Yes, what do you want? Where are you going? To work, where else? The hedges want for trimming. Who cares about the gardens? Won't you stay with me? I feel so much peace when you're with me. Won't you read me one of your poems, pretty please? As you wish, my lady. And worry not your pretty, pretty heart. It will always be... <clears throat> I will always be watching over you. Oh, thank you. I, I like how they were labeled gardener and girl in <laughs> that flashback. Very accurate. <gasps> Was it all a dream? No, that nightmare was all too real. What? Thank the heavens. You've come back to us at last. Darling, darling, come quickly. Oh, <laughs> my lady Primrose. Why, I feared we'd lost you forever. <laughs> I feared the same, my dear. Thank the gods! Oh, but the heavens can be merciful. So then... Master Foresight, I... Mm -hmm. You slept for three days and three nights. But... I, I see. <sighs> that terrible man. That Simeon fled town before we could do a thing. Whatever he does, <clears throat> does he hope? Whatever does he hope to accomplish by such monstrous deeds? I shouldn't have walked out of the room early. I'm kind of a jackass. Everything about that man is a mystery. <clears throat> However, I was, however, able to convince one of his lackeys to talk. They said he makes for the town of Everhold, in the mountains to the south of here. What business he has there, I cannot say. I understand. Then I know where I must go. Farewell. Would that I could join you there. But I am not as young as I once was, and I have a family that needs me. <sighs> Be safe, my dear child, and may you find the answers you seek. Thank you. Thank you, Master Foresight. I will. You can be certain of that. Look at that dog. And so Primlose left home behind once more, her ultimate goal finally in reach. Only one man, the leader of the crows, reigns to be dealt with. Yet knowing his identity, 
Each step she takes feels heavier than lead. The final act awaits her in Everhold, in the Highlands. But will her tale come to, <clears throat> come to a happy or tragic end? Nice. Very nice. I got some travel banter, and then I'll probably call it there. Is it so? He was thine beloved father. Shall thou not visit his grave? No, not yet. Yes, I loved him, dearly so. But this is too soon to be putting flowers on his grave. When this is all finished, when he is avenged, I am an avenger. <laughs> Only then will I go. Tell him what I have done. If that is thine wish, then so be it. But thank you anyway, for caring. I will return sooner rather than later, but right now I have work to do. Your strength is to be admired. Nice! Alright, um... Yeah, I'm gonna call it here, uh, and next time we'll be on Cyrus's chapter 3, if I'm not mistaken. But let me double check. Um, oh no, I lied. Or did I? No, no, Cyrus's chapter 3. I didn't lie. Very cool. And I don't have to do any leveling, because uh, we're proper levels for that chapter. So I don't have to do any leveling off stream, so these will be the levels I will be at next time as well. Uh, thanks for any and all who watched. And for next stream, uh, let me see when that is. Alright, next stream will be Thursday at 4pm, and that will be more Red Dead, uh, for Throwback Thursday. And that will probably be my last, uh, Red Dead stream as well, for, uh, Undead Nightmare. Because I think we're, like, at the ass end of Undead Nightmare. Yeah, thanks for any and all who watched, and until next time, I'll be the Zen.